What the fuck is up? Welcome back. Welcome, not back, welcome to the first edition, first episode of me offering prize picks, prop bet recommendations on a day that is not a Thursday. There's no Thursday night football anymore, so we have pivoted. There is a two-game Saturday slate. We got the Chiefs and the Raiders, we got the Jaguars and the Titans. We're going for the uh, the 5x5 five five flex play, trying to 10x our money. I have 10 total prop bets uh, for you on this beautiful day, so let's get into it. On the first set of five, this is the first 5x5, five five. the first uh, line I like is Evan Ingram, 45.5 receiving yards. I like the over. He's averaging 46.2 receiving yards per game this season. And in the last month, he's averaging 88.3. His line is 45.5. He's hit this line in three of his last four games. And the Titans, who Evan Ingram is playing this week, have given up the most receiving yards to tight ends in the entire league. They've given up 85 to Mo Alley Cox, 106 to Travis Kelsey, 57 to Hayden Hurst. Uh, Dalton Schultz had 56. Evan Ingram had himself a few weeks ago had 162 against the Titans defense. If you had the tight end playing against the Titans in fantasy every week, you'd have the tight end two in fantasy for the season. 1.6 points per game better than TJ Hawkinson is tight, tight ends against the Titans. Like they're really bad against tight ends. They've given up 93 receptions and 1,092 receiving yards, two tight ends this season. Only seven guys in the entire league have put up at least that stat line uh, this season. And that's Justin Jefferson, Tyree Kill, Travis Kelsey, CeeDee Lamb, Stephon Diggs, Amon Ross St. Brown, and Devontae Adams. Like people are, tight ends are shredding the Titans. Uh, Evan Ingram is good. He's been productive lately. He's playing the Titans again. He already shredded them this season. It's wheels up. Uh, the next line I like is Jarek McKinnon, 32.5 receiving yards. I like the over. He's averaging 32 per game this season, so just under this line, but 66.3 per game in the last month. Again, he's hit three of the last four. Uh, missed it by two yards in the only game in the last month, month in which he didn't hit this line. And the Raiders give up the most receiving yards to running backs of any team in the league. So I like McKinnon this week. They also give up the most passing yards, period, of any team in the league, which is why I like Trevor Lawrence, 265.5 passing plus rushing yards. I like the over. He's averaging 244, just under 244 passing yards per game this season, but 266.8 in the last month. So there's a decent shot that he could hit this line without needing to add rushing yards. And, you know, maybe it'll be a blowout and the Jags won't have to throw a lot. Like, I get the, you know, kind of game script concerns here. But both of these teams have, you know, reasons to play. Like, this is one of the games this weekend with when both teams have incentives to actually try to win. And the Titans give up the second fewest rushing yards in the NFL. Like, this is not an easy team to run against. And the Jags are only favored by a touchdown. I think the line is like six and a half points right now. So this isn't supposed to be some sort of blowout. But even if it is, the Titans have lost four games this season by at least two touchdowns. The average passing yards that they've allowed in those four games is 335. So if the Jaguars are going to blow out the Titans, it's probably going to be because Trevor Lawrence is having a good day. And if it's a close game, Trevor Lawrence is going to continue to need to, like, try on offense. So... All of that, plus he tacks on like 15 to 25 rushing yards a week. I like him to go over 265.5 total yards against the Titans. The next line I like is Isaiah Pacheco, 75 and a half yards from scrimmage. I like the over. He's averaging 85.8 yards from scrimmage in the last two months. He had only 49 yards last week, but before that, he had hit this line in seven consecutive weeks. Las Vegas ranks 20th in yards, uh, in rushing yards given up to running backs, and last in receiving yards allowed to running backs. And that's that doesn't mean they're good. That means they're bad. They're the last. So I would imagine that he could, uh, you know, get 76 yards from scrimmage when he's been doing that regularly in recent weeks. And the last thing I like as part of this first 5x5 five five is Chigoziem Okonkwo, the tight end for the Titans. 24 and a half receiving yards. I like the over. He's averaging 33.2 per game in the last month, 39.6 in the last nine weeks, which is like since he became a regular part of this Titans offense. And he was just one yard short of hitting this line last week in his first game with Josh Dobbs at quarterback. And that was against Dallas, who is perfectly average in yards given up to tight ends. They're 16th in the league. Jacksonville is ranked 28th in the league in yards given up to tight ends. So they're in the, what, the bottom five of the NFL as far as like how good they are against tight ends. 
Okonkwo has been good lately this season. He almost hit this line against a better defense last week. I think he can do it. So that's the first five by five. It's Evan Ingram over on receiving yards, McKinnon over on receiving yards, Lawrence over on pass plus rushing yards, Pacheco over on scrimmage yards, Okonkwo over on receiving yards, and I have five honorable mentions. This isn't quite like a second play here because I have two Derrick Henry lines. Yeah, that's basically the only reason why. But here are five honorable mentions for your uh, pleasure. The first one is Travis Etienne over 0.5 touchdowns. Excuse me, not over under 0.5 touchdowns. He scored five touchdowns in 16 games this season. One of those, he scored two touchdowns in a game. So in 16 games, he scored a touchdown only four times in only four games. So he scored last week. One of those was last week, but prior to that, he went six straight games without scoring. And the Titans have only given up nine touchdowns to running backs. That's rushing and receiving combined. Nine touchdowns to running backs all season. Only four teams in the league have given up fewer touchdowns to running backs than the Titans defense. This is a guy who doesn't score often against a, te- against a defense that doesn't allow running backs to score often. So I like Travis Etienne to not score on Saturday. And then I got two Derrick Henry lines. One of them is 14 and a half receiving yards. I like the over. He's averaging over 25 per game this season, 36 per game in his last five games. And the Jaguars allow the third most receiving yards to running backs. Sets up nicely for Derrick Henry to get at least 15 receiving yards. He's liable to take a screen for 60 yards on any given day. So the next one is Derrick Henry under 22 rushing attempts. He's averaging like 21 per game this season, 18 per game in the last month. He did have 23 in his last game, the one before the one that he sat, and 21 in the game before that. Uh, But then he was held out last week. But the Titans are six and a half point dogs in this game. There's a chance that they lose. Um, even if it's a competitive game. And the Jags give up the seventh fewest rushing yards to running backs, but they're sixth worst, sixth worst against the pass. So relatively good rushing defense, relatively bad passing defense. Running Henry a million times might not be the best way to stay in and or win this game for the Titans. The next line I like is another Okonkwo, Okonkwo line, and it's over on his two receptions. He's averaging two and a half per game since becoming a regular player like nine weeks ago, 3.6 per game in the last like month and a half. And the only game in that span in the last six weeks when he didn't have at least three receptions was the game that Malik Willis started. And tonight against the Jaguars, at least as of this recording on Friday, Malik Willis is not starting against the Jaguars. It's Josh Dobbs. So I don't know, wheels up for Okonkwo. And the last line I like uh, is Riley Patterson, kicker for the Jags. Six and a half kicking points. I like the over. He's averaging 7.4 this season. He's averaging 10 and a half in the last month. He set the over in all of his last four games. And the Titans are ninth in points allowed to kickers. So they're in the top 10. But they've still given up 8.3 points per game to kickers in the last month. So that's almost two points more than this, uh, including three of four games during that time frame above this line. The way that I kind of look at this line is Riley Patterson has made two or more field goals in five of his last six games. The Titans defense has given up two or more field goals in three of their last four, four of their last six. Riley Patterson, if he gets two field goals, which it seems likely that he will, the Jaguars need to score one touchdown in order for him to get seven points on this Titans defense. I think he can do that. So those are the honorable mentions. Travis Etienne under touchdowns, Derrick Henry over receiving yards, Derrick Henry under rushing attempts, Okonkwo over receptions, and Riley Patterson over 6.5 kicking points. There you have it. Have a wonderful uh, weekend. Have a wonderful day. Uh, Happy New Year. And I'll see you next week. Peace.